Hey guys, Auspicious Ozzy here, and welcome to episode 19 of the Atlanta United series. Now, today's episode is going to be a bit of a player review. Of course, we've finished the end of the regular season, and of course, we're also going to be playing the Eastern Conference semi final against New England Revolution. However, it's a bit weird because it seems like it's only going to be the one game. Whereas last season, the semi-final and then the conference final were both played over two legs. But this season, for some reason, it's not. Um, like, if we go back here, as you can see, there was two legs played, and then, of course, aggregate went through. You know, Columbus being the prime example against New York City. This season, for some reason, it is not... The only reason I can actually think of as to why it would not be played over two legs is the fact that I'm pretty sure 2019 is actually a Gold Cup year, so that might have delayed the schedule in terms of the MLS games, therefore putting uh, the games you know back in terms of when they're played, thus negating a week here and there, and obviously... Essentially, you save a week by not playing two legs. So that kind of makes sense. Anyway, of course, you know, we won the league. We won the Supporter Shield. Uh, we'll go over it all very quickly. Uh, that's not what I wanted. We wanted the Eastern Conference. As you can see, you'd expect us to win that uh, with just how dominant we've been uh, in both seasons so far in the series. Supporter Shield, as you can see, absolutely smashed New York City, who were the closest to us. They were on 68 points, and we finished on 82, only losing two games all season. Seven draws, which, you know, it's about the same as all the other teams. Uh, we were just a lot harder to beat, and we managed to win a lot more games. Uh, in terms of the squad and the players, we'll go over some of the top performers. As you can see, the best performer, player of the season, Gonzalo Martinez. 7.84 average rating over 21 games. With 8 goals and 20 assists. Yeah, 20. That is crazy. Uh, we then have Zellalem, who of course came in during the middle of the season uh, on a free transfer. Uh, he only started 11 games with 2 sub-appearances. Got 9 goals and 2 assists out of midfield with a 7.77 average rating in those games. Uh, behind him we have Villalba, who really... You know, pushed through this season, replacing Barco, of course. He got 8 goals and 13 assists with an average rating of 7.53. Uh, we then have one of our other midfielders, Nagby, who played a lot of games. 30 starts, only 2 sub-appearances, 11 goals and 8 assists for him. And a 7.49 average rating. Uh, we then also have another one of the mid-season signings, Josh Emmanuel. 10 starts, 2 goals, 1 assist, and he also got a 7.49 average rating. Uh, we then have Gressel, who of course pretty much played centre mid more than anyone. Well, he actually did with 34 starts, 4 sub-appearances, and 13 goals and 6 assists from midfield with a 7.47 average rating. Uh, behind him, we interestingly have Klaassen. Now, we got Klaassen in the draft, and as you can see... 28 starts, 14 sub-appearances. He scored 22 goals with 5 assists there as well. Uh, and a 7.42 average rating for the season. He essentially kept Joseph Martinez out of the team. Um, impeccable goal-scoring form throughout the season from him. Um, and essentially one of the reasons as to why we managed to win the North American Champions League this season. Uh, behind him, we have Pires, of course, one of the centre-backs. Um, if you look at his games played, 44 starts. He got five goals as well. Um, absolute rock at the back for us. Um, and that's shown in his average rating. Over 44 starts, he got a 7.39 average rating, which is pretty ridiculous for a centre-back. Uh, just below him, we have the other draftees. One of the, sorry, one of the other draftees in Leon, uh, left winger. 25 starts for him, 6 sub-appearances, 7 goals, 8 assists. Not a bad return. Of course, he did play back up to Gonzalo Martinez. 
Uh, but yeah, pretty good average rating from him as well in his first full season, 7.29. We then have the other center back with the partnership with Pires, and that is Florentine Pogba. 30 starts, 5 sub appearances, and a 7.28. Uh, and the final player we'll go over is Breck Shea, who really broke through. He was more of a backup, you know, he's pretty versatile down the left side. But he broke through, uh, really challenged both the left wing position and essentially, you know, became a starter almost in the left back position. 27 starts for him, 6 sub appearances, 1 goal, 3 assists, and a 7.26. But he was just really solid defensively, and that is essentially why... You know, he sort of started to make the left-back position his own and sort of kept uh, Bello, the youngster, out of the team. Or not out of the team, but on the bench and uh, getting a few rare starts here and there. Uh, Anyway, let's get into today's game. Of course, New England Revolution. Going to be a tough game. We are at home, of course, being the higher-seeded team uh, for this one-off game. Uh, It does go to extra time and then penalty shootout if it is required, you know, after full time. So in goals today, we're going to go with Guzan at right back, Emmanuel. Pires and Pogba will be the two center backs with Breck Shea starting at left back today. Like I said, talked him up a lot. It's probably going to have a dreadful game. Uh, We're then going to go with Laurentowitz uh, as the defensive midfielder. Really lost all of his pace. We're probably going to replace him. We do have Remedi, uh, who is essentially a ready-made replacement. Um, but yeah, this will probably be his last season at the club. Uh, in front of him is going to be Gressel and Zellalem. So uh, no Nagby today. He's out. still recovering from an injury he picked up. On the right wing, we're going to go with Villalba. On the left wing, going to go with Gonzalo Martinez, as you'd expect. And then up front, I'm going to stick with Klaassen who's been, like I said, in fine goal-scoring form. The bench today is going to be Can, Robinson, Bello, Remedi, Leon, Carleton, and Martinez. Let's go. Got to at least win the Eastern Conference Final. I want to win everything. It was the premise behind this season. And uh, we've done pretty well so far. Of course, the great comeback in the US Open Cup. I mean, the really dominant performance in the North American Champions League. We won that as well. Supporter Shield, we've pretty much dominated that. We won the Eastern Conference itself. Uh, We just have to win the final. And then, of course, you know, I want to win the MLS Cup again. It is the, the overarching goal of this series. I'm not sure if the series is going to continue. Um, much longer because I've essentially won everything at this point. You know, winning the North American Champions League, it uh, was a an interesting thing to win so early on. Um, I kind of didn't expect it. Anyway, we're playing really well, albeit haven't really had many chances of actual note. Uh, we've got 10 shots, 6 on target, and they've had no shots on target, so... We are playing well, although we haven't had a breakthrough goal for ourselves yet, uh, which is the most important thing. And obviously we want to be getting a goal pretty early here. I mentioned extra time and penalties. I really don't want to go to penalties. That could be like the worst thing for us. Uh, We're going to make a sub. Martinez is going to come on for Klaassen. And then I think... I think we might bring Remedi on for Emmanuel, who's on a 6.4. He's not playing too well. All right, we do have, finally, we have a highlight in the 70th minute. And Joseph Martinez, one-on-one, and he hits the post. Wow. I kind of expected him to score there. As you can see, their defenders are all on really, really good ratings at the moment. Which, you know, scares me a lot. Gonzalo. That was a pretty tame shot. We're going to push the boys forward. we got, what, 11 minutes left of normal time. 
really want to get the, the breakthrough goal uh, because I don't really want to put my players through extra time and even penalties because penalties is a lottery. We all know that. And uh, they could very easily snatch it away from us uh, with the penalty shootout. Come on, boys. Gonzalo. Oh, what a goal by Villalba. On the left foot as well. Absolute rocket. I actually want to go back and have a look at that again. Uh, I would have liked to. We can, we can have a look at it after the game finishes. We got the breakthrough though. We needed that goal. And it does look like it's probably, unless we score here, probably going to be the only goal of the game. Um, but that might be... Is that guy on a yellow card? Let's have a look. If I can click on... I can't click on him for some reason. Okay. Uh, let's have a look here. No, that's Hervio. Okay, we got a free kick. Um, but yeah, it didn't really... I don't really know what the point in that highlight was. It was kind of anticlimactic. Anyway, we're breaking forward. Remedi. Martinez. And he blasted over. He's just really not in a goal-scoring mentality at the moment. I mean, this whole season, really. He's been pretty dreadful. Anyway, let's have a look at this Villalba goal again. Pretty impressive stuff, if I'm being honest. Uh, I would actually like to speed that up a little bit. Okay. Here we go. Gressel plays it. I mean, it was a bit of a, a weird arching ball. A bit of a nothing ball, to be honest. But yeah, Laurentowitz wins it back. Plays it to Shea. Shea goes out to Gonzalo Martinez. Crossfield ball. That was on the volley. It was on the volley with his weaker foot. Man, that was that was a special, special goal. Uh, but again, we didn't really look too convincing. I mean, we dominated like hard. But ultimately, yeah, we just really didn't look like a... I don't know, like a winning team, if that makes sense. Like the the most dominant team of the season. Anyway, Villalba, man of the match with his goal. And then, of course, the next episode will be the Eastern Conference Final against New York City. Hope you guys will join me for that. If you could drop a like on this video, it would be much appreciated. Subscribe as well if you haven't already. And apart from that, guys, take it easy and goodbye.